In case you haven't noticed, your boy loves playing wrestling video games. I've spent far too much time in my life, especially growing up, jumping off hell in a cell, falling off ladders, and trying to take Diva's lingerie off. Wrestling games will forever hold a special place in my heart. Now, over my lifetime, there have been some ups and downs in terms of wrestling games. There have been some amazing games, and then there's been some games that make me want to shoot myself. But I'm still happy that I was able to grow up during the golden age of wrestling games. And over the past two years, thanks to this channel and thanks to you guys, I reviewed almost 20 different WWE. WWE games and holy shit does that make me sound like a loser but hey you guys watch them so I guess we're both losers but after reviewing all the WWE games from my childhood after going from 500 subscribers to 100,000 I think it's the perfect time for a video like this see while other people in the world are changing the world making a difference actually being useful and stuff and you know doing amazing things it's your boy Pav aka wrestling gifts and instead I'm gonna sit here in my room and list my top 10 favorite WWE video games of all time. Let's get into it. Number 10, WWF Attitude for the Nintendo 64. Now this is one of the worst wrestling games I've ever played in my life. I mean, where the fuck do I really even start? The wrestlers all look like they want to kill themselves, they move like robots, this game just looks depressing, but god damn it, this game still holds a special place in my heart. See, this game came out when I was less than a year old, and I didn't even know what Undertaker was in 1999, but in 2002, after I got a hand-me-down N64, at 4 years old, the only wrestling game I owned was, of course, this piece of shit. But that's the thing, this was my piece of shit. While other kids I knew played the actual good, fun wrestling games on their PS2 and PS1, I would go home and play this, and still somehow I would have fun. I pray I never have to play this game again. Just looking at this makes me cringe. It is so bad, but I can't lie, this game gave me a lot of good memories, and I cannot put my first ever WWE game on my favorite game list, because at the end of the day, this started it all. But please, I, I promise you, don't ever try to play this game. Just look at this. Does this look like something you want to play? It boggles my mind how a game can have an awesome cover like this and then end up like this. This is the biggest catfish I've seen in my life. But unfortunately, I still love it. Number 9, Smackdown, Shut Your Mouth. Remember how I said the other kids played the actual good, fun wrestling games and I played Attitude? See, this was the game that would go to my cousin's house or friend's house, I would see them play this and I would legit contemplate life. And wonder, why did God give me Attitude instead of Shut Your Mouth? This game was a legendary game. This game was made for one reason and one reason only and that was to have fun. The graphics for O2 were beautiful, the gameplay was magnificent, the roster was exquisite, and I'm running out of adjectives, but this game was amazing. The leap that this game took from the the last Smackdown game to the next one was insane and at the time this changed everything. The animations, the story mode, the cutscenes, the freedom, the creation, this game set up the golden age of wrestling games. This game laid down the groundwork. Also I had to put this on the list because when my parents didn't buy me Spider-Man for PS2, I just made him in here and gave him the entrance and I pretended that this was a Spider-Man game. Yeah. Number 8, Day of Reckoning 2. I never had a GameCube, but Day of Reckoning 1 and especially 2 were the two games that made me want one so bad. DRO2 has some of the sexiest graphics I've ever seen in a wrestling game. To this day, this still holds up. The gameplay was so different yet so cool compared to the PS2 wrestling games and every time I played it, it just reminded me of the N64 games from my childhood. And plus, this game has to be on this because the cover features Stacey Keebler. But for real, I didn't play this game as much as I wanted to as a kid because I never owned a GameCube. It was the one game that kind of got away. So when I started playing it recently, it just added so much more to the allure of it. It feels like how a Nintendo wrestling game should feel. It was the perfect alternative to the PS2 games. It's honestly a very underrated WWE game. And a full review is coming soon. Number 7, WWE All-Stars. I played All-Stars for the first time last year for a video and I fell in love with this game. I was mind blown with all the stuff you could do in this game. You got wrestlers on all the coke and steroids you could imagine, jacked to the gills, jumping around like action figures. What more could you possibly want? The reversals, the finishers, the craziness. It's such a throwback to the 80s. And and 90s arcade games, you literally just pick up the controller and just start doing the craziest stuff. It's so simple and so casual, yet so special. In which other wrestling game can you magically teleport and fly to the top rope and then do this? The art style is so unique, the matches are so fun, and there's this fantasy warfare mode. Everything about this game was awesome. It's legit like your action figures coming to life. And it sucks that they never made a sequel, but this one game is a very, very elite wrestling game. Number 6, WWE 2K19. I never in my wildest dreams, shout out to Taylor Swift thought I would ever put a proper WWE 2K game on my list of favorite WWE games, especially with how the series started with 15. 
But you already know the deal with 2K19, somehow those idiots got it right. Smooth ass gameplay, so many modes and features, creation so in depth it didn't make any sense, graphics that make you forget you're playing a game sometimes, and like I said in my video recently, this is without a doubt one of the best wrestling games ever and this is one of my favorites of all time. So many countless hours spent playing with friends doing random universe modes, you already know the deal with this one. Number 5. Wrestlemania 2000 After the disgusting taste of attitude left on my mouth and everyday wishing I had a PS2, the one game that saved my N64 wrestling experience was Wrestlemania 2000. This was a wrestling game that I somehow got for $5 from some random pawn shop when I was 4 years old and even though everything was outdated, I didn't even know half of the wrestlers in the game, Shut Your Mouth was out and was so much newer and cooler, I had so much fun playing this game. I loved this game with a passion. The roster was so cool, the entrances, the gameplay, the story mode, seeing the mini cutscenes on an N64 back in the day had me shook. I used to play this game like my life depended on it. I didn't have a memory card for my N64, so I would legit leave my console running for days so I wouldn't lose my progress. Yo man, going from Attitude to this game was like the equivalent of going from a broken down Honda to a Ferrari. This game changed my wrestling game experience. My friends would come over and we would still play this and have fun. Even though they had PS2s to shut your mouth and here comes the pain, even they loved it. I never had No Mercy as a kid, and even though No Mercy is better than WrestleMania 2000, I gotta put WrestleMania 2000 on this list. It's No Mercy's little brother, but for me, this was the first wrestling game I truly ever fell in love with, and it is honestly such an elite game. But yo, let's be real, looking back, these graphics are pretty disgusting. What, what is wrong with their bodies? Number 4. WWE 2K14 I feel like I have to put this game on this list simply because it's the reason my channel blew up in the first place, but uh, 2K14, I was going to put 13 in here, but I love 14 just a bit better, this game was perfect, and even though the graphics are so bad looking back at it, even in the time, this does not look like a 2013 game, this looks horrible, but it didn't matter, the game is basically the second coming of No Mercy and Wrestlemania 2000, the gameplay is so good for what it is, I fiend like a crackhead for this type of game play. It was so satisfying to play. One of the best rosters ever, the Undertaker streak mode, 30 years of Wrestlemania, universe mode, but for some reason, even though I had all those modes, all I remember about this game was just sitting there playing countless exhibition matches all night, every night. That's how you know a game is fire. Number 3, Smackdown vs Raw 2011. When SVR 2011 came out, I never thought it was going to be anything special. I was excited for it, sure, I got it day one, yeah, but I never thought it was going to be some legendary game. And then I played it and I started jumping off ladder and shit and the rest was history. SVR 11 is a GOAT tier WWE game. I have such fondness of this era as it was the WWE era that took place when I was in middle school. The road to WrestleManias, the silliness, the wildness, it's such a complete wrestling game. The weapon physics in this game are still the standard for weapon physics in any wrestling game. This was the first game with universe mode and it had so many cutscenes and like I said I never thought in 2011 I would have been nostalgic for this game going forward or love it as much as I did. But yo, Ukes and THQ did their thing in this game and SVR 2011 is no doubt in my top 3 favorite wrestling games of all time. Just looking at the main menu, the character selection screen, I get nostalgic and I just want to play a TLC match. Having this at number 3 might be a little controversial, but remember, this is my favorite game list. Number 2, Smackdown vs Raw 06. It was going to be between SVR 06 or 07, I had to make a choice. I didn't want to put both on here even though honestly they both deserve it, but I had to choose one. As much as I love 07, 06 was just the one. I don't know what else to say, 06 was just the one. This game, I spent so much time playing this, it didn't make sense. Even when 07 came out, I was still playing 06 sometimes because this game, in my eyes, was just Perfect. I played the season mode a million times. I would play this at home with my PS2. I would play this away with my PSP. I was obsessed with this game, and there's just something about this game that it just hits different, okay? I love the arcade style gameplay that's still somehow realistic. I love that this game captures 2005. You guys already know that 05 is my favorite year in the WWE, and this game just captures it perfectly. The aesthetic, the roster, the gameplay, the modes, just everything about it makes me wish I was eight years old again. Just the cover alone makes me feel all the nostalgia. And the fact that you could wrestle for titles now, all the match types you could possibly want, created championship was better than ever, GM mode, season mode, so many modes, pay-per-view mode, everything, the arenas, the roster, this game had it all. Even the cover to be honest, just seeing the cover sitting there with John Cena and Batista, I used to be just so happy to play this game every single day. Bro, the fact that you could spin John Cena's title during his entrance magically was the coolest thing ever. I love 07 and I know a lot of people prefer 07 and I do think 07 is the better game, but I still prefer 06. Number one, of course, 
Smackdown, here comes the pain. Could it have been anything else? The first PS2 wrestling game I ever owned, the game that made me addicted to wrestling games, Damn, no other wrestling game will ever touch this game. Everything in this game is perfection. Like I said for a lot of other games, the graphics are cool, the animations, the gameplay, but no other game does it better than this one, okay? There is nothing I can say about this game that you don't already know. Everyone knows it's legendary, everyone knows it's iconic, it's Smackdown, here comes the pain. To simply put it, it's the GOAT wrestling game. There is so much nostalgia tied to this game, it's the little things, the way the ring shakes when you hit a finisher, the satisfaction you get when you make someone bleed. This was just a perfect fighting game. This was was bigger than a wrestling game this first of all this game was basically grand theft auto because the crazy stuff you could do but this game just was it was bigger than wrestling it honestly was this was just one of the must play playstation 2 games of all time regardless of genre if there is only one wrestling game that i could play for the rest of my life Without a doubt, I would choose SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. In my eyes, it does not get better than this, and honestly, I don't think any wrestling game will ever, ever be better than this one. And there you go. In case you ever wondered, in case you ever wanted to know, these are my favorite WWE games of all time. Like I said in the intro, I had a great childhood and I'm so happy that I was able to grow up with these games and not be a kid right now and have to play 2K20. That'd be pretty sad. But these memories will forever be cherished. Just making this list made me so happy because it just reminded me of all the cool stuff we used to do back in the day. I had all these flashbacks, all these memories of matches and moments. Wrestling games, like I said in the intro, will forever hold a special place in my heart. And these are the top 10 games that gave me the most fun and memories. So in the comments below, let me know your top 10 favorite games. But Speaking of memories, why not make some new ones? So I'm just here to announce that starting next week, episode 1 of the SmackDown vs Raw 2006 season mode will be out and it's going to be a new series on the channel, it's going to be a lot of fun, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, I can't wait to see you guys again for the next video, which will be very soon, it's the 100,000 subscriber Q&A special. Stay tuned for that, thank you guys for watching, it means the world, I'll catch you guys later, okay? Later.